developing right now. Educators expect parents and teachers to be shocked by how many students are falling behind. State test scores are being released later this week. There will be a significant drop because there has been a large gap in readiness. Two Works For You reporter Megan Allison is in Oklahoma City with how new education standards are expected to overhaul classrooms. If your student was testing advanced in a certain subject, state leaders expect that to change with these new results. They tell me the bar is being set higher and teachers and students will be held to new standards. New testing is based around the SAT and ACT. Curriculum is developed to prepare for this down to kindergarten. This summer, educators determined a new baseline for what is considered to be proficient. Our students have tremendous aspirations and they want to be in STEM fields. They want to be ready to study engineering and move into a job market. But currently, about 40% of Oklahoma students are taking remedial college classes and most of them will not graduate from a university within six years. Teachers across the state say their students are capable of more than that. I, for one, as a teacher, I set my expectation bar very high. As they grow up and they become college and career ready, life is not easy. So if we're not preparing them for life basic skills, then they're never going to get there. By 2025, it's predicted that only 23% of jobs in Oklahoma will require a high school degree or less. And hopefully, as they go through and graduate and go to college, they'll be able to bring um, jobs into Oklahoma and then hopefully our economy will increase and do better. State educators expect it to take a few years for these new standards to be met, especially with roadblocks facing schools. After schools get results this week, it will be passed on to parents by the end of November. The education department says you can't compare the results to years past, as this is unlike any way Oklahoma has looked at curriculum before. Reporting at the Capitol, Megan Allison, Two Works For You.